everybody so in today's video i'm doing a review between two different foundations i have actually reviewed each of them individually in previous videos like whole entire wear test videos so i will link both of those down below i'm comparing the body shop foundation the fresh nude foundation between the wet and wild one this is the wet and wild photo focus foundation so i'm comparing those two on my face today and what they look like because they're very different foundations so this is kind of going to be like a dewy versus matte foundation sort of showing the difference between the two they have similar coverages but slightly different so i will talk about that in a second but basically this body shop one i had a while ago i used it for a while i personally don't really like it that much because my skin is oily and this is a dewy foundation so it doesn't really go very well my skin ended up looking like a glow ball at the end of the day but this one has got spf 15 in it so it's got sun cream in it whereas my wet and wild one doesn't have any like spf in it at all this one is also in the shade coyote blossom number 15 and you get 30 ml in here i think you get that in this one yeah both of them are 30 ml anyway but this one is more of like a dewy foundation it does say that it's also a light coverage in my opinion i don't know if it says that on the back or not but it's definitely a light coverage like this is in no way full coverage or even medium coverage but you can build it up in my opinion so yeah this is definitely light to medium coverage but that's that one so the one that i don't really like because of my own skin type but if you've got dry skin you will like that probably hopefully and then the wet and wild one which i'm gonna be using is in the shade light medium actually is it in the shade like no it's in the shade soft beige so that's the shade that i get of this foundation and it's a light to medium coverage i would say this is a medium coverage 100 not light in comparison to the other foundation that i'm reviewing this one is definitely nowhere near as light as that one so i would definitely say this is a medium coverage i like this one it's more of a matte foundation it's not like i don't think it's marketed as a matte foundation yeah i don't think it says anything about it being a matte foundation but in my opinion it goes so nicely with my skin and it doesn't make my skin dewy throughout the day so i definitely think this is more of a matte foundation they have brought out a new version of this foundation that is more dewy so it is like a dewier version of this one but i'm definitely not going to buy that because I know that I won't like it. So that's the foundations I'm reviewing today. I think, now this is just off the top of my head, I'm not sure if this is correct, but you'll see it in the thumbnail. I think this foundation, the Body Shop one is 16 pounds and the Wet n Wild one is roughly five pounds, like it's four pounds something, but I think it's roughly five pounds, but I will correct myself on the screen if I'm wrong. So there is quite a difference in price. This is literally three times the cost and I don't like it and i think you know obviously foundations are tailored to different people in different ways and what their preferences is but for me i have oily skin i don't like the fact that this one is dewy i also don't like the fact that it is less coverage so i think that's something to kind of think about and remember that when you get a foundation there's so many different aspects to it as to why you might like it or might not like does it suit your skin color do they have a wide range of shades all that kind of thing okay yeah so this is going to be a wear test sort of video i am going to show me applying the foundations i think on this side i have done the because i have already filmed that clip but on this side i have used the body shop one on this side and then on the other side i have used the wet and wild foundation so one side is dewy one side is matte and then after i've applied them i'm going to show throughout the day little clips as to how they're like wearing i'm not going to like top it up with any powder or anything like that i'll just show you the difference between the two as the day goes along and how it feels etc on my skin so yeah that's what this video is i will link down below the review that i did of the individual foundations in a separate videos because i did review these individually and wear tests but you don't necessarily need to watch those if you're going to watch this video if i'm honest but that is gonna be this video so yeah i'll link those down below now let's get into the actual main part of the video so i'm just gonna put my little blue headband on so that's on my website i will link it in the description to get my hair out the way even though it's pretty much out the way anyway but i just like to put it on all right there we go so i've got the two foundations next to me i haven't used the body shop one in quite a while because i don't really like it but this one is literally my favorite foundation ever but I'm gonna do, I think, this side body shop, this side 
wet and wild so this side's going to be the dewy side and then this side's going to be the matte side i'm going to use my real technique sponge that i've just wet and it's expanded to blend everything in but i think i'm going to start on the body shop side so i need to remember to take half a pump instead of a whole pump because i'm only doing half my face but yeah i'm just going to take that much this one is a lot less coverage than the wet and wild one so that's one thing already that's different between the two well two things that's different one's dewy and one's matte but yeah this is a lot less coverage and i'll bring that down my neck a little bit as well get my sponge and blend it in So that's the body shop side blended in. Is that in focus? I really hope so. But yeah, this is the body shop side blended in. I'm now going to do the wet and wild side, which is a lot more coverage. And the shades might not match, you know, too much, but I'm hoping they will at least a little bit. And then I'm going to blend that in as well. in the wet and wild side which is this side and already i can tell a difference straight away in terms of coverage so origin like when you first apply both the products there won't be like a hell load of difference but the first difference is the fact that this side is a lot less coverage than this side but maybe you can't see that too well on camera but i can see my blemishes more on this side than i can on this side also my um my right it might be the opposite way around for you when you watch this but my right um is more dewy than this side which i expected anyway but i think throughout the day that's when we're going to really see the difference so i'm going to go and do my makeup i'm not going to do too much to my face because i just want the focus to be on my skin rather than like my eyes or anything like that so i don't think i'm going to do any eyeshadow or anything like that it's going to be simple i think maybe and then i'll come back and show you what it looks like and then we're going to do like check-ins throughout the day so yeah i'm going to do my makeup and then i will come back so I've just finished doing my makeup. I've done literally everything that I would normally do apart from I haven't done eyeshadow because I wanted to keep it simple. But this is what my face is looking like. Both sides actually look extremely similar. And I think that's because obviously other products are layered on top like concealer, powder, everything like that. But then through the day, trust me, the foundation will shine through. Maybe, we'll see. I think it will though. This side does look a little bit more like less flawless and like more dewy. Um, If we kind of go like that, like in my opinion, it does still look quite dewy and like less coverage, especially around here. And then this face, like face, this side is like a lot more kind of like more full coverage and you can just see like less of my face if you know what i mean like less blemishes but that's just what we're seeing right now so i will do some check-ins throughout the day just like vlog style check-ins of how it's looking just out of interest and then i'll do like a final roundup at the end of the day before i take off my makeup i'm gonna take this off now so don't need this on anymore oh my god i've got the right mess on that i should probably wash that actually i'm gonna put that in the wash also just quickly throwing in that i thought i should mention that this foundation is a pump applicator so you actually like pump the product onto your hand or wherever whereas this one is a bit of a weird one which i don't really mind because you can kind of control how much you use it's like a doe foot applicator but yeah like i said the good thing about that is that you can control exactly how much you use and sometimes with pumps you're not sure like how much it's gonna pump out but yeah i just thought i would mention that Okay, so it has been an hour or so later. I have had some lunch and chilled for a bit. It's been, yeah, a couple of hours after and oh my God, I can see a difference straight away just looking in the viewfinder. So I'm kind of in front of a window so you can kind of see, but remember this half is the body shop half and look how much more dewy this side is than this side. Like that's crazy and if I do that, you can see like dewiness on this side, you know, you can see some um, blemishes. And then this side, 
it's just so much more like more matte and more coverage and i think i'm doing this video because i'm just showing like how a foundation can change the way that you look like if my whole face was really dewy you know i just look like really glowy and i don't like that like i don't like to feel like my face is really dewy i like it to feel like i can touch it and it's fine whereas if i touch this side it feels really sticky I don't like that and yeah I just much prefer this side of my face but obviously everyone's got their own opinions maybe some body would look at my face and prefer the dewy side but I just personally don't I just like the side that's not overly dewy and obviously this video is all about how different foundations are matches for different skin types I have oily skin that's why the matte foundation is looking a lot better on my skin like it's not looking really matte or dry or anything because my skin is oily but maybe if somebody has dry skin then it would look like dry whereas I've got oily skin and this dewy foundation gets quite oily on my skin and it's only been a couple of hours so I'm going to crack on with the day I've got a few things to do I've got to clean my hamster's cage out tidy up in the kitchen just do some errands and then I will get back it's later on now actually it's quite a bit later on my mum came around earlier and she, I asked her to say which side looks more dewy it does look quite dewy because I'm just under a light but she said definitely this side and this side was the more like matter side but yeah this is what it's looking like right now both sides do actually look quite dewy however this side feels and is in the mirror not on camera a lot more dewier and the coverage is so much less um it, both sides are holding up quite well really but if you actually look at my face from that side like it doesn't really look like i've got a whole load of makeup on then if you look from this side like you can completely tell i've got makeup on and when i put makeup on i'm happy for people to see that i've got makeup on so that's not a problem for me oh yeah i'm cooking spaghetti by the way um but yeah so i will update you once more before I go and remove my makeup, but I'm gonna eat my food and we'll see you later on. It's the end of the day. I kind of forgot to end this video. However, there's not, it looks like there was more difference between the two sides earlier on than there does now. And I thought that this side would be horrifically dewy in comparison to this side. But the only difference really that I can see is that this side is a lot less coverage than this side. I obviously still prefer the wet and wild foundation to the body shop one but it's not as crazy as I thought even though I do remember that I did used to wear this body shop one and it would be so like so glowy and dewy that my skin would just be like literally a disco ball so I know that it is usually more dewy than that but I think it's because I have accidentally touched my face because I keep forgetting I'm filming this video um but yeah I just randomly wanted to make this video so here we go but that's actually everything um don't know what the point of this video was but i think it's just to show that oily skin and matte foundations go together well oily skin and dewy foundations don't but yeah this is the end of the video and i will see you in my next one bye